right, how to shred. I'm excited to share this with you guys because I know a lot of you are interested in developing the techniques involved in being able to play fast. So let's just get into a few aspects that are very good to have as part of your regular practice routine. And one of the things that is very, very important to developing fast technique is practicing slow and methodical and as perfectly as you possibly can. So that's everything from the left hand to the right hand and the timing of everything, the rhythms that you're playing. So a really good exercise to get those things really fine-tuned is to cycle a little piece of a scale over and over and over while fine-tuning these little, um, little, I just mean like very detailed aspects. Because playing fast, effective fast playing, is very, very detailed. It's very, very delicate. Um, so to really get access to all these nuances, you want to spend a lot of time practicing slowly and in time. And so that's where practicing with a metronome is, is very, very important. Um, so I picked the key of E minor because uh, it's a great rock guitar key to play in. And so what, let's go ahead and um, just cycle the first six notes of the E minor scale, starting on the second fret here. And we're just gonna um, uh, go like this. Okay, just those first six notes, and we're using alternate picking. So down, up, down, up, down, up. And what you would do is you would decide, am I doing um, triplets or sextuplets? So if you're doing triplets, then it would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you're doing sextuplets, that means it's going to be six notes per beat, so that would be one, two, three, four, like that. So what you want to do is just spend a lot of time on something like this, where you just... Okay, and... While you're doing these exercises, you want to try to stay as relaxed as you possibly can, which isn't easy to do. You might find your shoulders tensing up. You might find uh, tension in your legs or your feet. Um, you know, any kind of um, tension in your body, you want to try to identify and try to relax. Because in order to play fast, it's, it's sort of like the faster you go, the more relaxed you want to be. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind as you practice these exercises. Now, when you're um, going up here, uh, what would be cool to do is to then go up to the next position and then go and then go down. So, so all together, we're gonna get this. Okay. Now let's go ahead and blow that up to a longer run because with shredding, playing fast all over the guitar, you want to map out the patterns that you're going to use. So let's um, go over a pattern that you can use that gets you all the way up to the uh, higher position here. So you're going to go. That brings you back to the E, an octave above the initial E here. So you get this. Now when you get to this top part here, right there, then shift down, then shift down, shift down. So all the shifts, uh, get you back down to that first note. So it could be cool to I'll cycle the whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
And you can just keep cycling that over and over. But I wouldn't recommend doing that right away. Uh, again, I would recommend just zoning in on something like that for a while and then zoning in on this for a while. Okay, and there's a lot more techniques obviously involved with shredding, but scale patterns and alternate picking are two really kind of fundamental aspects of, I think anyways, of shredding. So um, yeah, that would be a great run to really get comfortable with. And like I said, you wanna to try to be really relaxed and you wanna cycle things. You wanna just cycle little pieces over and over so that, I mean, what that allows you to do is to not have to think about what notes to play, um, and that frees up your mind to just think about all these other little details that are involved with shredding. And like any other topic I talk about, um, there's a lot more to get to, and I'm going to continue to uh, explore this topic with you guys because I know it's a really um, common one that a lot of guitar players are interested in. So I hope some of those exercises are helpful for you and you give them a try. And again, you want to go really slow and you want to do that for a long period of time in time like that's really important to play this stuff in time don't just play with random timing pick a specific rhythm and cycle that rhythm over and over and then um you have to be consistent with it if you really want to develop this technique uh or these techniques then you really have to stay with it on a kind of a daily basis and you know that doesn't mean you have to spend eight hours a day but obviously the more you do the more you put into it the more you're going to get out of it. So uh, just spending a little bit of time every day over a long period of time will get you the results that you want. All right, guys, I'll uh, see you in the next lesson.